Hi guys. I'm sick. <laughs> Let me get that out the way first. I apologize for the extra dark circles because I always have dark circles. The puffiness, the watery eyes, the breakouts. Like, I look a mess, I know. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You're off your wash. So I took out my crochet locks, as you guys can probably tell. I wore them for a month, just like I promised. And it's almost Christmas, y'all. <laughs> I'm recording this on December 19th. So I gotta wash my hair and get it ready so I look cute for Christmas, okay? Turn up for baby Jesus' birthday. So I'm just gonna do a quick talk and twist because my hair is pretty stretched so it probably won't take me too long to detangle but I can tell I have a lot of shed hair that I accumulated while it was in the crochet locks. Um, so yeah, unfortunately the boy was sick which means I am now sick. So I'm hoping that you know it doesn't last long and I feel okay by Christmas because this is a busy week for me obviously getting my final orders out before the Christmas break and preparing for my Boxing Day sale and getting ready for like hosting family because we're hosting Christmas this year and you know all of that prep that goes into the holiday season for most of us. The faux locks, actually, I really enjoyed them while I had them, to be honest. I absolutely love that look, and I'll definitely revisit it. It makes me want real locks, but I was thinking about it, and in all honesty, I'm not sure that I have the hairline for actual locks. Because I have a weak hairline, and I feel like actual locks will just exaggerate that fact or even worsen it so I don't know as much as I love the look and I do foresee locks in the future I'm just not 100% sure you know and I've seen you know youtubers like Jasmine Rose I think that's her name Jasmine Rose who has locks but took out the front locks and um, for that very reason, right? Weak hairline. I think she got transplants too, hair transplants. She has, so right now she has loose hair in the front and locked hair in the back. So yeah, I just feel like locks can be more strenuous on a hairline, um, particularly if you already have a weak hairline. So that's sort of my contemplation. Is that a word? So y'all, 2017, eh? That was quite a year, wasn't it? I had a good, I had a very, <laughs> uh, there was never a dull moment in 2017 for me. Let's put it that way. My year was absolutely up and down, but I'm happy to say I came out on top. So yeah, I couldn't be more grateful, more thankful, and always happy to have you guys along for the ride with me. So. Thank you. If I don't say that often enough, I apologize, but thank you guys for being on, you know, this little journey with me, hanging out with me on my channel or whatever. You know, we like to talk about natural hair over here and um, supporting black business, which is sort of a passion of mine, but I do have a vlog channel in case any of you would like to follow me over there. It's called Tony and the Boy. My vlog channel used to be called Miss Tony Daily, but as my husband, who I lovingly refer to as the boy, uh, <laughs> became more comfortable, I guess, or got more used to me um, vlogging, he became more of a presence in my vlog. So I changed the channel name to Tony and the Boy. And um, yeah, we just share bits and bobs of our life over there. I'm not an oversharer, but I do like to keep it sort of upbeat and keep you guys in the loop of what, what I'm up to on a weekly basis. I know a lot of people don't actually understand vlogs or don't get vlogs, but I actually really enjoy vlogs. I do like reality TV as well. I used to watch a lot of reality TV, not so much anymore. But 
one thing for sure is I find that I'm far more inspired by day-to-day -day vlogs or day-to-day -day vloggers than I am from any sort of reality show. And if you think about reality shows, they are kind of like vlogs, but just with celebrities or rich people, right? Like the Kardashians, for example. As nice as it is to watch them and imagine what it would be like to live that type of lifestyle with that type of disposable cash, I get way more inspiration from watching like an everyday family who goes to McDonald's for dinner as opposed to Cabo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got it like that. I ain't got it like that. So, <laughs> there's, I'm subscribed to quite a few people. And I don't just, I don't just randomly subscribe to vlog channels usually. It's usually just the person that I like and then I become a fan of their vlogs, if that makes sense. Obviously, some of my favorites are Gabe Babe TV. Um, I've been following Gabe forever since she was G Flowers 02. You know, before they were Gay Babe TV, as as you know it. And I just, I really enjoy their vlogs because, you know, they keep it upbeat. And I really gain a sense of, I don't know, I guess they inspire me to really make time for the people that are important to me. Because they're very family oriented. And even though we don't have the same family dynamic, um, I am very inspired by them to spend time with people that are close to me or that I do have a family dynamic with. Valencia is another one of my favorites. Um, her vlog channel is called Valencia's Life now. <laughs> it's gone through a couple changes, but um, I've been enjoying going through those changes with her. Like her vlog channel definitely inspires me. Um, we don't, again, have the same situation or the same family dynamic but she I don't know her vlogs just her vlogs show me that we are stronger than we think and we are capable of more than we think we are and I get a lot of inspiration from that so I, I thoroughly enjoy watching her. Plus, I've fallen in love with her kids, obviously. Um, watching them, you know, when you sort of watch them grow up, you sort of feel invested. Plus, I've met them in person, and they're... They are the sweetest children. <laughs> they are the sweetest children. Like, Julian is so polite. He is such a polite young man. Jojo! Jojo is adorable and she's a girly girl. She's a girl after my own heart. We bonded. And Izzy, Izzy and Max just, they're full of energy and they absolutely adored the boy. And it was just amazing to see them play. And yeah, great, great, great kids. So yeah, I get a lot of inspiration from her channel as well. Britpop Princess. <laughs> At least that's what she was called when I started watching her way back in the day, the old YouTube days. But, um, yeah, Patricia Bright. Um, absolutely love her personality. I love her vlogs because she's such an incredible businesswoman. She has goals. Like, she has goals. So she really inspires me in business um, a lot, very much so. As a matter of fact, so does uh, In The Fro, who I became a recent fan of um earlier this year because she seems to lead at least from her vlogs such a glamorous glitzy lifestyle y'all like the brands that be sending her ish and that be flying her out i'm like damn why did i start with this natural hair thing i should have started with this high-end luxury thing damn she, she works very hard at her craft i mean she has a phd in fashion so it was no fluke you know, her success is no fluke, and that is very inspiring to me. Plus, it's just her and her boyfriend, so I enjoy watching other couples who, um, you know, have a similar dynamic as me, where it's just me and my husband, we don't have kids. Um, so I enjoy watching that sort of couplehood. Um, Jay Majette, Jayla Majette, <laughs> she's another one. 
like she her and her husband are married with no kids and I really enjoy watching that sort of dynamic and she inspires me to just have fun like just have fun so for her um, like what I gained from her vlogs you know she like working on her mental health for her it's it's a constant like you know she does have things that she struggles with but she through all things is smiling like she her vlogs are always so upbeat and funny you know she has a great personality and that inspires me because you know it just means like despite what you're going through you can find joy in the smallest things so well, that's some of the reasons why I really enjoy watching vlogs and um, I don't even know why I started ranting on that topic I guess because recently it came up um, somebody that I know personally in real life was like I don't get it like why would anybody watch you walk around with a camera and I agree it's it's not for everybody but um, it is for me we'll just put it that way it's for me <laughs> it's for me so vlogs inspire me in my everyday life and I'm an everyday person and oddly enough that person who did not understand vlogs is the biggest fan of keeping up with the Kardashians so <laughs> You know, whereas I, um, I don't find that I get anything from keeping up with the Kardashians. Like, they don't inspire me the way that my everyday, regular, regular, degular black girls do. You know what I mean? Like, we out here winning, and, and I'm here for it. Well, that wasn't too um, long at all, was it? That's my last section. Like I said, guys, my hair was already stretched from being in the, the cornrows underneath those faux locks so I knew it wouldn't take me a long time to detangle but boy oh boy did I get a lot of shed hair out y'all that's a month yes I am a shedder I'm very envious of those girls who go like this so this is the shed hair that I got after wearing my braids for eight months and it's kind of a lot anyways you guys I hope that you have enjoyed this real raw talking twist and oh my gosh, if I don't talk to you before Christmas, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, uh, Happy Festivus, <laughs> Happy Holidays, um, Happy Monday, whatever you celebrate on the 25th or any other day. I hope that you have an amazing one and um, I appreciate all of you guys. Hopefully I'll be back before the end of the year um, and we can ring in the new year together. So thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.